What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Observant Lyman. I am your Observant Lyman, Uche Waneri. Now, this is going to be a topic that's a little bit in the niche department, uh, but couldn't help but kind of think of this from the athlete's perspective when it comes to uh, something that's trending today in Newsweek. Uh, there is a hashtag boycott Jimmy John's going on right now. And really, when I, when I decided to make this video, I decided to make it based on a couple of things. One, not so much to focus on the boycott Jimmy John's hashtag, because you know, that, that's not so relevant to me. But the question of whether big game hunting is a sport. Now, when you think about a sport, there has to be two sides to a sport. There has to be an action that competes against, uh, that competes towards a certain goal, right? So for me, I look at this and big game hunting is not necessarily, you know, the first thing people think of when you say sport, right? But people who are involved in game hunting, they call it a sport. They're hunting for sport. And obviously I couldn't agree. I couldn't, and obviously I couldn't disagree more with that sentiment. Uh, big game hunting is not a sport because one, you're not competing with the animal. You're not, it's not a one-on-one -on -one matchup, you versus the elephant. It is you stalking a wild creature uh, with the help of someone who is kind of a tracker. And they basically set up the animal to get killed by said hunter, right? So I look at this article, and, you know, I know this is an old photo. They say this photo is, you know, this photo has made its rounds uh, on the internet numerous times. I'm just going to read a little bit from it here. Uh, Jimmy John's and the hashtag boycott Jimmy John's trended on Friday with calls for a boycott of the fast food sandwich restaurant after a photo of the owner with an elephant he killed resurfaced. The photo itself is old and has frequently made rounds on Twitter. So, yeah, this is an old photo uh, of the uh, founder of Jimmy John's, uh, Jimmy John Leotard, uh, who founded it in 1983. But, you know, I just go and I look back at this and I look at the pictures and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I hear a lot that these guys think this is sport, that this is something that, you know, they prepare for as if they're getting ready for a football game. And, I mean, he's got a cheetah. He's got an elephant. He's got a rhino. And these are all animals that he killed because they were set up to be killed. So, you can't define big game hunting as a sport because you're not in actual competition with the animal that you're hunting. If the animal was aware that you were hunting it, and was allowed to actually hunt you in return, then we could technically call it a sport. But as I look at this right here, as an athlete, as somebody who's involved directly in, you know, physical violent sports in my career, you know, I look at the, you know, the, the, the notion that big game hunting is a sport, and I laugh because it couldn't be any further from the truth. Uh, this is just... Uh, assisted killing of wild animals. That's all it is. And look, I'm not going to get into the politics of it. I'm not going to get into, you know, whether, you know, people are on here calling this guy a non-human and all that stuff. Yeah, I, that's that's not, I'm not going into that realm. All I'm saying is that it's not a sport. So let's not call it a sport. That kind of rails against the entire concept of sports. Sports are competitive actions. Uh, with an ultimate goal in mind uh, that can be reached e either as an individual or as a group, as a team. And, you know, I think that uh, when I look at this, uh, it, I wouldn't say, you know, necessarily boycott Jimmy John's, but, you know, it does just kind of bring to light that this is not a sport and it's more or less uh, an affront against the natural, you know, order of nature. Um but I thought I'd just kind of drop that in there because it kind of hit me right in the, you know, kind of popped into my head that, 
these guys really think this is a sport. They think they're doing something that makes them, you know, uh, that, that defines them as a hunt, as, as some kind of fine hunter. You know, not when the animal is being guided basically into a death trap. That's not sport. That's just, you know, like I said, assisted killing. So with that being said, just wanted to give a little quick hit on that. Uh, we'll, I know this will probably die down here soon enough, but uh, big game hunting is not a sport. Period. It's not a sport. You don't put on cleats. You don't put on uh, 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 a helmet. You're not throwing a ball. You're not, you know, competing against another intelligently. Uh, uh, you're not. You're not. You're not competing against another intelligent being that understands the parameters of the competition that you're involved in. So there's no way in hell it can be considered a sport. Uh, but that is my observation on that. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the Observant Lineman, where we bring you my observations as a former professional NFL player uh, on all things that have to do with sports. Uh, so that is my observation on this video, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.